We've had the G6 Instant, the G6 Turret, the G6 Bullet all come out and now we're adding to the lineup with the G6 Dome. And this is their latest 4K 8 megapixel camera to hit the lineup. So let's take a look. And this is a first look at the dome itself and it feels a bit weighty, a little bit more heavy than I was anticipating it being, but that's because of its IP rating and its vandal resistance rating. So all of it is pretty much made from aluminium alloy. This is all, there's nothing plastic about this part here. The only thing plastic will be the lens itself. Let's have a look at what else comes inside the box. We have a mounting template to make sure it's kept straight and we have a whole and we'll talk about that in just a second. This is where your ethernet cable is gonna go through. We have this, which is the mount, which screws onto the back of it. So just like some of their access points that you've seen and the in-sealing mount for the G6 Pro, that sits on the back just like so, and we'll have an ejection tool to help that come out. So that's that. And then we have one if you have a suspended ceiling or you wanna be able to just use the screw through a tile, you can use something like this. We have a desiccant packet. Now, I've only seen this on one other Ubiquiti camera and that was the AI LPR where we had to get this installed. We have an injection tool, which is what I mentioned, taking it off the mount. We have a screwdriver to get these unlocked. And this is a Torx. Uh, we have a spanner and we have a bunch of screws. So to fit it to the wall, all the screws for this mount for a suspended ceiling. Finally, the last look, we have a couple of grommets in here for depending on the size of your cable and this little bolt that comes so you can then secure your cable to the device itself. Let me show you how all the cabling works inside here. The first thing I'd recommend is not to take this plastic cover off. Leave this right the way to the end once you're ready to start positioning. Uh, purely because the big thing I wanted to test on this would be the glare at night to see what sort of glare. And you wanna keep this plastic cover as clean as possible and dust free until it goes out and gets mounted. So I would recommend you keep that on till the end. So we'll open these up. So there we go, that comes off right there. And then you can position this lens accordingly depending on whichever way you want it. Now, one thing to note is this does not have a pigtail built into it. Now, I know a lot of you have mentioned in the past that you're not a big fan of the pigtails. Well, this does not have one built in. So you, this has a direct ethernet install. You can run your cable through, use your cable grommet and get this tightened so it's sealed in there and then you can plug your ethernet cable straight into it. For those of you that want to know, and I will show you outside once we get it mounted, it says attach desiccant here. So we would take this, take it out of its packet and pop it here. But again, we'll do that outside. In terms of the ethernet cable, cause we want to get it adopted and we'll have a look at the tech specs. We can pop our cable straight in and then get it connected like so. Obviously outside, I will use the correct weatherproofing of the cabling, but for now, while we're getting it set up here, we can just pop it in like so. There's one thing I didn't show you in the unboxing and I did mention we're gonna leave this on, but if you do happen to take it off, there's actually one of these that comes inside, which is a nice unified printed cleaning cloth. So if you need to clean the dome lens, you can go and look inside the box and one of these will be inside there waiting for you. Before we move further in this video, I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor of this video, that is Kinsta, Simply Better Hosting. If you've got a WordPress website that your business relies on, whether it's e-commerce, client projects, or your own personal site, Kinsta takes care of all that stuff that usually keeps you up at night. They handle your hosting, security, speed optimization, backups, basically all the backend work so you can focus on your business. Just by switching to Kinsta, you can see your site load up to 200% faster thanks to things like Google Cloud infrastructure, edge caching, and image optimization. And their dashboard, it's called MyKinsta. Super clean, super simple, way better than the usual cPanel mess that you've probably dealt with. They've also got you covered on an enterprise level for security, SSL, DDoS protection, firewalls, and if something ever goes wrong, they will handle the malware cleanup. The best part, you get real human support 24 seven, no chatbots or endless support tickets. Right now, you can try Kinsta completely risk-free. The first month free, plus a free site migration, just head to the link on the screen, which is kinsta.com first month free, or scan the QR code. Thanks again to Kinsta for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. So let's take a look at the specifications of this, and it's probably some of it probably isn't much of a surprise to you. It looks very similar to the other G6 range. So we come in, we have the price right there. We have a 4K 30 frames per second camera. The IR night vision allows you up to 30 meters, which is 98 feet. We have one over 1.8 inch, eight megapixel sensor, 109.9 .9 degree wide field of view, IP66, an IK10 vandal resistant, and just keep that number in mind because we'll come back to that in just a second. It's PoE powered, which gives a max consumption of 9.25 watts. There's a microphone built into it, 
And as we've seen, you get the wall and the ceiling mount included, but you can use it with the dual fush mount, the gang mounting plate, and the weather shield. These are all optional. It's polycarbonate, which is the mount that we've seen here, an aluminium alloy, which is pretty much the majority of this is aluminium alloy. It has the quad core ARM A53 processor inside, and it doesn't have an SD card, and it's a fixed zoom on here. And as I mentioned earlier about the IK rating, you'll see an image popping up on the screen now. This shows you what the impacts are. So this is IK10. So this allows a 20 joule impact. What that basically means, it can take a five kilogram hammer and hit it from a 40 centimeter distance. And it's not gonna have any impact on this camera. Now, of course, I wanna get this mounted in my house. So I'm not gonna be throwing something at it just to give it a test, but it's something you might wanna keep in mind when you are getting this installed. So you can see my lovely image right there on the G6 Dome. So that's now adopted and installed. We can see where it's connected on the network, the firmware version it's running, what alarms are there. And then we can go across to all the standard recording options that we generally see with, with most of these cameras, really. We have the recording, the recording mode, the motions, AI events. Then we have the recording quality all down here. And then we have the overlay information, recording retentions. And then you have like everything else that you see. So you have your motion zones, smart zones and crossing lines if you want them. Other than that, you have your image tuning again nothing that we haven't seen on any of the other cameras. And then you have your auto rotate and hallway mode if that's what you want to have set up. We have a status light on here, which is actually, I don't know if you can see that in that camera, That's there's a little blue light just at the top there. That's the status light. So it's very minimal. It's not very obvious and in the dark, hopefully it won't be too obvious either. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you is within the image tuning, if you wanna have a look at some of these. So we'll turn on all the detection types. So we'll have face, person, vehicle, vehicle type, color, license plate, animal, confidence level, object, idle time. So that's all of them. And um, yeah, let's get this mounted and set up outside and then we can come back and look at some of the day and night images. So we have the mount right here and we have connected that on. It's a bit hard to do this one-handed. You can see at the top here, I've already attached the desiccant pack. So this has a double-sided tape on it. Now to change this around, obviously I'm going to be going at a bit of an angle. If you look at the driveway, we're gonna be going across that way a little bit. And this is only set to one way at this point. To make this happen, we need to turn the camera to the right direction, so then we can do this. And then we're gonna to need to loosen one of the screws at the top, and then we can turn this lens. And this is a bit difficult to do with one hand, so I've actually loosened the top and the bottom one. And if I can, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed, but uh, no. Let me quickly get this turned, but you'll see around the edge, there's two color differences between here. You hold on to this part, and then you can turn it. Before screwing the top in, make sure you check the camera angle and you have the right one that you need. And then we can go and screw the top plate on, which I will do just now. We're gonna tighten these screws. So there's three of them and three. So that's all three tightened up and done. And then we can take this off and we know this is now installed correctly. Again, just have one more look on Unify Protect to make sure it is in the right place where you want it to be. For you eagle-eyed viewers that saw out there that I hadn't installed this, I'm gonna quickly show you how to get that done. And it is just a case of once you get your cable, you can put your cable in just here like so. Pop this down, so we're pushing the rubber seal all the way down into it. And then you take this part on top, we can pop that through, and then we can push this all the way down so it's in and you know it's sturdy then, and then we can start tightening this up. Now you can do some of this by hand, which you can probably do most of it by hand, but as I showed you inside the pack, you do get yourself a nice spanner. And also that has a nice U printed on it as well. So that has the Ubiquiti logo. So all these little things are really nice touches and you can just tighten this up to make sure this is as tight as it needs to be. Obviously be careful not to cross thread it. That's then sealed and then you can go and put your network cable in. Let's take a look now at some of the daytime footage that we've taken on here. So once it's all been mounted, we can go and play this. So this is me stood at the edge of my drive. You can see me right there. Obviously there's no optical zoom on this camera. So this is just me walking towards. Just gonna increase the speed a little bit so you can see me walking towards. And there we go, that's me just standing about two meters away from the camera and it's picked me up perfectly fine in terms of an image. So let's have a quick listen to the audio. This is an audio test from about three meters away. This is an audio test from about five meters away. This is an audio test from about eight meters away. So that is the audio test. Obviously, as you would expect, the further you get away, it's a little bit more quieter. Compared to some of the other cameras that I've looked at in the past, the eight meters does sound a little bit more quieter than the others, but 
not by a lot. So the microphone has always been quite good on the Ubiquiti cameras and this one is no different. And then if you want to see the car going out, so you can see that's picked it up and that's then driving out and then we'll see it coming back in as well. There we go. We can see it in the background. It obviously knows exactly what car it is. So it's already picked it up with the number plate, the SUV and the color of it. So we're reversing in. And if we stop about here, which we're probably about 10 meters away, uh, the number plate is fairly visible from there, as you would expect in the daytime. And obviously it's very visible as you become closer and closer. In terms of the nighttime testing, so we're around about half 10 at night. As you can appreciate in England, the days are a lot longer at the moment. We're coming up to the longest day in the year. And here I am at the back of my drive. My driveway lights have just turned on, so I'm waiting for them to turn off. And again, all my other cameras on the drive are turned off at this point. So there's no IR sensors on any of them. This is me stood at the edge of the drive right here and I'm walking now towards and you can see it's not as clear as you come closer and then when I'm about 12, 10 meters away it starts picking me up as a person and as I come closer it does recognize who I am. So that green box has come around my face so it's picked up a face and then we're going to do a quick car test. So I'm just about to drive out and there we go. It's picked that up right there. So driving out. And then here I am coming back in. So again, it's already picked up. It knows which car it is. And we're reversing in. And again, if I stand about, it's about 10 meters away. That's about 10 meters away. You can see that there. And then as I come closer and closer, you can see the number plate right there. You can see it, the car in the background over there. You can also read the license plate of that car as well. So you do get some visibility of the license plate at night time. Let's do a quick couple of comparisons now. So let's have a look at some of the dome options that we have across the Ubiquiti lineup. Now, unfortunately, domes are the only ones that I don't actually have. So we have three different options other than the G6 dome. We have the G5 dome ultra, the G5 dome, the AI dome, and the G6 dome. So these are the four different options that you can buy from Ubiquiti as of today. We have the Dome Ultra, which is the most budget-friendly one. That is a very small, compact dome, 2K, 20 meter IR distance, and a narrower field of view. So it's very small and it's used, it's designed to be used indoor. There's no IP rating on it. We have the G5 Dome, which again is 2K, doesn't have as long a distance for the IR. This has a slightly higher IK rating, IK08. And this one has two-way audio built into it. The AI Dome is the flagship model as it stands at the moment. So $399, this is 4K at 30 frames per second. Very similarly specced to the G6 Dome as we've seen across the AI and the G6 series. The same sort of viewing angle between them. They're both IP66 rated and IK010, similar in terms of power. However, the G6 Dome does not have a micro SD card, but the AI Dome does, and it's a similar Similar sort of processor. Now again I don't have an AI dome to put these head to head to show you what's what but if you want to see that video let me know down in the comments and I'll try and get my hands on an AI dome. Now I didn't have the rest of the dome series but I do have the G6 series. We have the G6 bullet, we have the G6 turret and now we have the G6 dome. So these are the three different ones so if you want to take a look at how they look in terms of sizing between them so a very similar sort of style to what we've seen in the past. This was a slightly newer lens design on the front and then we have the dome right here. Bringing up the table, you can see a quick comparison between everything across here. I'm not gonna go through all of these one by one. If you wanna see this in more detail, pause the video right now and have a little look through the table. Or if you would actually see, prefer to see them PDF'd up and da link down in the description, let me know and I'll see if I can package these up so you can take a look at them at your own leisure. Now, for those of you that want to know the Unify Channel Partner Program, this is for value-added resellers, MSPs and system integrators they have now added the G6 Dome into this as a qualified product. What that basically means, if you are looking to deploy something like this at scale, you can register this right now using the link down in the description below and someone from Ubiquiti will contact you directly. From Ubiquiti's video earlier, I can tell you that there are a few more models coming later on this year. We have the G6 180. So for those of you that wanted a 180 degree field of view camera, 
this is going to be coming. There isn't too much in terms of tech specs that we have at this point, but I can tell you it does have the dual 8 megapixel sensors inside. We also have the G6 Pro 360, and this one is a panoramic 12 megapixel monster for your full 360 degree coverage. I'm really looking forward to these when they do come out, and as always, subscribe to the channel and I will bring those videos to you as I do get my hands on them. But back to the G6 Dome, it really depends on where you're going to be deploying a product like this. I mean, something like this could be ideal for schools, retail, offices, or any outdoor sites that you might need a rugged installation. We know for both day and night, the clarity is very good. Even if you're looking at 10 or 20 meters away, the image quality is still quite good. If you are looking to order one of these, my affiliate link is down in the description below, so feel free to check that out. And if you want to see anything more in future videos, again, let me know down in the comments. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.